Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll go over the weld modifier. This modifier is used to merge the vertices of a mesh if they are close enough. Let's press Shift A and add monkey head. Then, right click and make shade smooth. Press Tab key to go to edit mode. Press 1 key to go to the front view. Let's select the half of the monkey head and delete it. Press Alt Z and go to X-ray mode to be able to select all vertices. Then, press Delete key and delete the selected vertices. We have half of the monkey head now. Let's add mirror modifier. Here we go. We have complete monkey head again. Press Alt Z again and go to solid mode. Then, press Tab key and back to Object Mode. Let's disable Merge option in the Mirror Modifier. As you can see, a seam in the middle of the monkey head will be appear when we disable the Merge option. It is because the vertices in the mirroring plane cannot merge. If you meet such a problem, you can use the Weld Modifier to merge vertices. Let's add the Weld Modifier. There we go. The merge distance is maximum distance that the vertices must have each other to be merged. If we try to increase the merge distance, the mesh will start to collapse. Let's move the monkey head little bit and make a gap. When the weld mode is all, if we try to increase merge distance, it will merge all vertices. But, if we turn to the connected mode, it will merge only connected vertices. Beside, we can determine which vertices will be merge. To do this, we have to assign vertices we want to merge to a vertex group. Let's select the vertices we want to merge. Then, click on the Object Data Properties menu. Let's add new vertex group and name it as Merged Vertices. Press Assign button. Go back to Modifier menu and select the vertex group we just created. Now, Let's try to increase merge distance. There we go. As you can see, only the vertices we just assigned is merging each other. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.